Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about how we can parse XML using Power Automate. Most of the time, when we are receiving some responses from our API, it gives us XML as an output. And to retrieve the specific node from the XML, basically we need to parse that XML. For that, we need to use XML and XPath function in Power Automate. So let's explore this feature in detail with some real life use case. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. The IDs are available here or maybe in the description box. Also, at the end of the video, we will play the quiz and one lucky winner will get a shout out on my Instagram page along with certificate of appreciation. So play the quiz and win the prizes. So without further delay, let's get started. Here I am on my machine and here you can see one of the XML example like this. Here I have one root node called employees and inside that I have different node like employee ID, age, name, gender and role. Along with that I have one result node as well which will tell me if the API result is successful or not. Now this is the basic structure of the XML. Now, I want to parse the different thing from my XML. So how can I do that with Power Automate? Let's get started and check more about that thing in detail. So first of all, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open my flow.microsoft.com. And now let's go to the my flow and create one instant cloud flow. So I'm clicking here. Click on new flow. And click on instant cloud flow let's keep this and just provide the name of the flow as yt xml parsing so just provide the name here yt xml parsing now i want to trigger my flow on the manually so let's click on manually trigger a flow click on new input and let's add compose action over here to provide the XML value. So inside your API case, this action will be different. But here I'm just providing my XML input over here. So what I'm doing here is I'm copying and pasting my XML structure over here. So this is the XML structure that we are passing. Now, let's say for an example, from this XML, I want what is the result for the overall XML. So how can I parse that? For that, just click on new step and just add one more compose action over here. So let's add that. So I added compose action and now you need to click on this formula bar. Now in the formula bar, you need to type an expression. So let's say in our case, basically we want to retrieve the result node. So if we see result is under the employee section, right? So now we need to type here as XPath because we need to parse our XML. So inside XPath, the first parameter is XML that we need to pass. So XML is available into our first compose action. So I'm just typing here XML and inside the bracket, we need to pass the output of the compose. So let's provide output of the compose. Now press the comma and now we need to pass the second parameter as your XPath parameter. Now which node you want to evaluate. So you need to add a single quote and then we need to check like we need to retrieve result. Result is under employees node. So we need to provide employees slash result. So let's provide that. So you need to type here employees slash result. Right. And we need that input in form of text. So you need to add slash and you need to write text function. So it will give you the result in form of text. Right. So this is the expression. First you need to pass the XML and then you need to 
go which node you want to retrieve over here right let's click here and our expression is ready now let's save this flow and taste this thing going to taste going to trigger manual thing and let's see what we are getting click on done and here we are you can see i got the success as value and you can see from our xml as well this is the result node which is success right so this is how we can go to the specific node now there is a one more question arise in your mind that you know under employees i have different employee node right so there are multiple employee node and from there let's say i want to retrieve the name of the employee so how can i pass that so employees employee and name and name will be multiple because we have multiple employee node so now let's talk about that thing over here so let's go to the flow again and let's click on edit and now we need to play around with this expression only so we already get our xml and now what we need we need name so employees employee and name so let's pass that employees we already have then we need to go to the employee employee and then we need to search for name right and let's remove this result and we need that in the text format as well so let's provide that and we are done let's taste it again and see what we are getting here and here we are you can see i got all three name value from my employee node so you can see tara aditi and shantanu we get all three values right now let's say there is one more question arise in your mind that you know i don't want to go to the specific node instead of that i need the entire employee node in my output so how can i do that so let me explain you so from this employees i just wanted to have all the employee node and then i want to apply a loop on each individual node so how can i proceed with that let's see so for that we need to go here again let's add one more compose action over here so let's add compose and now uh, let's copy the same formula from the top that we created so xpath is something which is basically used to iterate through the different xml node now in compose 3 i have copied and pasted the same expression so now what i need here is i need all the employee nodes as a result so i'm going here and i'm just changing the expression that i only need till employee node so employees slash employee and xpath is something which is the iterator function for xml so employees slash employee now let's taste it and here we are you can see in the compose 3 i am getting a response like this now we are getting the response in form of base 64 like this now we need to convert our base 64 to string for that we need to proceed with the next step so you need to click on next step and basically over here we are getting three different nodes so basically first we need to apply to each loop so let's apply to each and let's apply compose 3's output so let's go here and let's add output from compose 3 after that to receive the specific node information basically you need to add one more compose action over here so let's add the compose action and inside that you need to write an expression you need content from this apply to each so you need to go here go to the expression the first parameter over here is current item from current item what you need is content so single quote and dollar content this is the expression that you need to use right and now let's save this and taste it so when we taste it and go to the apply to each loop we are getting all the three nodes like this 
but still it is in base 64 format so now we need to customize our expression here so over here let's convert it to base 64 to string so you need to use a function base 64 to string to convert your encoded output into string format and let's just click ok let's save and taste the flow again and let's see what we are getting and here we are the flow ran successfully and if we go inside the loop you can see now i am getting the full xml node structure in form of employee node right so i am getting all three nodes over here so isn't that cool right so this is the process for retrieving the entire node now let's say your requirement is something where you want to find out only nodes where age is greater than 30 so from all of these employee you only need to parse those nodes where age value is greater than 30 how can you do that it is very simple you simply need to go to your compose action so let's add one more compose action over here right let's add compose for that in compose expression we are going to use the similar thing with the condition so let's copy from employee node we want to find out the employee whose age is greater than 30 so click on the expression provide the same thing employees slash employee and inside that i need age is greater than 30 so let's provide age greater than 30 so this is how you can simply add the condition and same way you wanted to check which are the node you are retrieving so over here just pass the output of compose 5 so let me go here and provide the output of compose 5 let's save and test our flow and let's see and here we are you can see in the response i am able to get only a single node where age is greater than 30 which is this one and this is the same input you can see one node is with age of greater than 40 now let's comes up with another scenario let's say from all of this node you only wanted to filter the node where employee id is 2 so employee id is something which is in form of attribute in this xml node you can see employee and then id is equal to 2 so how can i pass attribute as a condition so now let's check that so let's edit this thing and now let's edit the same expression so instead of age is greater than 30 i need id is equal to 2 then what i will do is i will simply use at the rate because whenever you wanted to apply condition for your attribute need to use at the rate parameter is equal to double quote and what would be the id let's say second number of id you want to retract so let's provide that and now let's save and test the stuff and here we are let's expand the node and let's see what we are getting so this is the id 2 and one node we are getting over here so isn't that cool now hope you get a clear idea about how you can parse the specific xml node from the provided result now it's time to play a quiz and one lucky winner will get a shout out from my instagram page as well as certificate of appreciation also you need to answer your question in the comment section only so let's play the quiz the first question is to iterate through the xml node which function is used xpath xml or none now question 2 which function is used to convert the encoded xml result into the string option a string option b base 64 to string option c string to base 64 and option d none this is very easy so keep answering in the comment section and win the certificate from me with this i covered almost everything if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for training and consultancy this is the website and if you wanted to follow me on all my social media handles these are the links 
Also, if you wanted to check out some Hindi content and short content on Power Platform, the dedicated channel is here called Digital Dhruvin. Subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.